the power of ten! Ooh. Silence worms! Just kidding. Power oh. 10 making its official debut here at GSC Studios. We have two amazing players, only one of which is going to go on to our money round and have a shot at $10 million in cash. Ooh. We start with, we have our two players are Andy and Adam. We welcome you both guys in a minute. One of you is going to be sent home, unfortunately. And for Andy, that's a quite a big track because you're from the Czech Republic. Well, you are paying for my flight ticket. Yep, not that's, me. I, hey, it's not coming out of my pocket. It's coming out of CBS's pocket. But Yay, oh. even better thing. So, how this works is that I'm going to ask various questions from, of course, each question is conducted to a poll of 100 people. The moment you have, the moment I read the question, you guys will have 10 seconds to lock in your answer. And whoever wins three, the best three out of five will go on to play for $10 million. The other, unfortunately, will be leaving. Okay? Okay. Let's play. Okay. Good luck to you both. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that you guys are all set to go. Here is question one. If you overslept on your first day at a new job, would you lie about why you were late? How many said... They would lie. You have 10 seconds starting now. Oh my God. I can't move my... Right. Stop right there. And that's time. Look my difference! <laughs> Adam went with 40%. Andy went with 43 Very close together, guys. Yeah. Yeah? Shall we see what the correct <laughs> answer is? Please. Fifty eight percent. Andy gets a point. Yay. Dang. It was pure guess. Right. <laughs> Question number two. We asked 100 psychiatrists, do you think physical illness can be cured by a faith healer? How many said yes? Five. Ten seconds. Your time starts now. Two. One. Time. Interesting. <laughs> Andy went with 29%, Adam went with 47 just I have no idea what was the just, question. Just, just out of curiosity, Adam, why do you think 47% of psychiatrists think that a physical illness can be cured by a faith healer? Well, I think I had experience once when I was little, but I'm still sticking with my gut. Right, let's see who's going to get the point. Oh my... Oh no. 37. Oh. Andy is closer. He gets another point. Oh my god. That was a close one. <laughs> That's close. Adam, oh. you need to go three in a row. Otherwise, you're going home. Okay. Huh. This question we pulled single men. <laughs> Would you. <laughs> Much like myself. <laughs> Would you go on yeah. a reality television show to mm. find love? Would you go on a reality television show to find love? How many said they would? Ten seconds. Go. Uh, I'll have to break yeah. up with you after. There you guys. Oh! Adam went with 31. <laughs> And Andy went with 38. Three. I was thinking, like, uh, going over 50, but then I realized, wait, America I mean, is I'm not sorry, that if, wild. If, 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 if I was single, I would not put myself through all of that, okay? Thank That's you. just I me. Would. That's I just me. You, I would. I would. Hey, Pat. I personally would go Andy myself would. to Andy the Andy would. Show. Adam, would you? No, because... <laughs> Love can't buy anything. And also, we're not... Uh, 
of Flavor Flav. Oh no! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, right. He's got if, you guys if want to Andy, know what If Andy is correct, he moves on to play for the money. Adam goes home. If Adam is closer, he gets a point. Let's see what happens. Okay, be higher. Lower. Lower. No! Lower! Oh, my 30%! God. Whoa! Saved himself. Almost exactly. Wow. We have yet to see an exact answer. I have yet to see anybody hit it right in the money. Question four, Adam is still alive. Again, we surveyed more single men on this one. Oh my god. Oh god, this is a disgusting question. Hello. Prepare yourselves for those that are viewing this. Are you wearing the same underwear today that you wore yesterday? Are you wearing the same underwear today that you wore yesterday? How many said that they were? We're giving you 10 seconds. Go. I don't know how to feel about this question. Adam went with 32. Andy went with 37. Yeah, well, uh, usually ladies wear bra even if they are in a relationship more than for one day. Oh my god. Goodness. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, reality. <laughs> that's reality. That's reality. My co worker just I'm admitted today. You mind if I <laughs> oh no. I have a question though, Adi. Yeah. Are you sure you're not wearing a Wonder Bra? <laughs> I heard Lori, 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 calling, Lori, Are you very oh, not wearing a white tidy? Calling calling her out calling them out or I see. Wait, what you mind if I ask something? What what yes. is your question? When I saw while I saw like uh hit while I saw like dark clowns going down, Andy also decided to reduce his. His was almost at forty, then it went down to thirty seven. Why would the sudden change, Andy? That well, is a good because question. I was thinking, uh, well, that's America, not Czech Republic. <laughs> <laughs> so my you are you is, are not wrong. I have a serious question though. Why did you have the copy of the same answers I was going for? We're going up. Yes, and down. always, always go Eight. with what you think. Again, Andy's Andy, get this one right. You go for the money. If Adam gets this right, we go to sudden death. Let's Please see, shall we? More than seventy percent. Please don't be more than seventy percent. Less, 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 less. Come on, keep going down. To the oh. Go down, go down, go down. Oh my God! Fourteen. <laughs> Adam gets the point. I got one more. Americans are more nastier than Czech Republic. Hey. Okay. Before we go to the next question, I got something to say to that. Is this a number two question or a number one? Oh, God, no! <laughs> Ooh! Right, we're down to sudden death, guys. One of you is going to go for 10 million, the other, unfortunately, is going to go home. Good luck. Survey question is this Have you ever received a Christmas card from someone you had never heard of? Have you ever received a Christmas card from someone you had never heard of? How many how many said they had received a Christmas card like that? I'm gonna give you ten seconds, and this is a crucial ten. On to you went with twenty one. Adam went with thirty three. Let's be honest, the post offices are really slow these days. So that's it's a fair point. Possible. That's a fair point. And also, they want to get their mail on time, and they say, "Stupid if, liars!" If, yeah, Adam, stupid if liars. Adam gets this one right, he has just made a massive comeback, being down two nil. Or is Andy going to finally seal the deal? Good luck. Who's going to go for the big money? Please be twenty percent or less. <laughs> higher, higher. No. Go low. Thank you. No. Oh my God. No. What? Adam did it! 62! That's game. EG. He did it! I don't know how. Brutal. He clutched it up.
But Adam, congratulations. Andy, we're going to give you $500 and our thanks for being here. But Adam. Okay, finally I can buy my more ducks. <laughs> Adam, welcome to the money round. Let's just tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started. Okay. I am Adam Goodwin. I am an uncle of five. I have two brothers. I work at UMass Amherst, home of the Minutemen, and I am a chef, and I'm also a game show host, too. Hang on. Uh, uncle of five? Uncle of five, yeah. Wow. How do you like being uh, an uncle? I love being an uncle, and it's really fun, and the cool thing is you can buy everything they want and send them right back to the parents. <laughs> <laughs> and if they cry, it's technically not your fault. Actually, it's technically. Actually, it's not technically my parents because my parents are deceased. But um, oh. it's actually oh. me. Um, yeah, I lost my mom about when I was twenty-two, and my dad when I was twenty-three. But wow, I do have someone in the audience though. Who do you have in the audience with you? I have Nate, uh, Angel, and Dante, and sometimes Dante. Where's a dress on his show of Wheel of Fortune? I just want to give you a heads up. <laughs> right. Shall we, also, play the, shall we play for the big money? Goal. I'll do my best. All right. You're now five steps away from winning $10 million. Here's what's going to happen. Every amount of money that you play for this round goes by the power of 10. Okay? For the $1,000 mm -hmm. question, you're going to have a 40% range. When we go to 10,000, it goes up, we decrease the range by 10% until you get to the 10 million where you have to hit it right on the money. But if you get a question wrong, your winnings decrease by the power of 10, okay? You can ask the audience and your supporters for help, but okay. once you're ready to lock in an answer, you can hit the enter key. Or are you ready to play? You just screw them out of $10 million. Once again, I will do my best, and let's hit the power of 10. Let's do it. Let's play power of 10. $1,000. Remember, 40-point range. We surveyed married women for this question. Okay, just remember married women. Have you ever fantasized about one of your husband's friends? Hello. That's a spicy question. Have you ever fantasized about one of your husband's friends? What percentage said that they have? Now... Audience, chime in. I want to. I want to know what you're. What you guys think? Between twenty and sixty. Uh, oh, he's locked it in with twenty nine like, and sixty nine. Let's see, like. Thinking quite low. Twenty. I think the whole benchmark. I think it's like forty between forty and eighty. I think it's somewhere around there. Right. Somewhere around there. So you went with twenty nine and sixty nine, and this is for a thousand dollars. Otherwise, it could be wait, an wait, early hold on, hold on. exit. Hold on. Can I actually change it for a little nope. bit? Nope. You've already locked it in, I'm afraid. Oh, is he? Yes. Oh. B41. B41. It is locked in. That's what happens. Maybe we'll see. For $1,000, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Here we go. <laughs> Ew. No way! Twelve. Oh. Wow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I would, oh, I would is an never early have... exit. That Gosh was darn tough. it! Unfortunately, was that was that was a tough question. I am so sorry. Hey, uh, at least I had a good time here, and it's my first time playing on this uh, studio and server. Yes, it is. We thank you for playing. We're going to give you $500. Thank you. And now, game number two happens between Alex and Angel. All right. Go, Thanks. Angel. <laughs> Go ahead and connect to my any desk. Give me a sec. <laughs> Alex, are you there, sir? Not really. <laughs> He's not. Just want to make sure real quick. 
Alex, are you there? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and connect to my AnyDesk. I already have. Okay, so Alex, so Alex is there, and we're just waiting on you, Angel. Yeah. <laughs> About that. What? My computer's being a dick to me right now. Oh, no. Should I, should I help him out? No, let him do it. It's totally fine. Okay. Alex, you're going to be Q and A, and Angel, you're going to be P and L. Just waiting on Sir Angel. Sir Angel. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll eventually get there. We're just waiting on one person. Computers, you gotta love computers though, don't you? Yeah. Yes, and how they screw what. up when you are the uh, as, as, as he's doing that, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. And we're back from we're back to the Powerton. We have Alex and Caleb joining us. Caleb, of course, has game show experience. He was on the wheel, twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. Mm hmm. Still enjoying the still enjoying those winnings. Um, not really, because they're in my savings right now. Oh well, hey, that's smart. That is smart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys in with your controls. And just by doing this, there you guys go. Alex, you are Q&A. Caleb, you are P&L. First to win three questions goes for the money. Gentlemen, are you gotcha. ready? 
Yep. Let's play. We surveyed Alaskan men for this first survey question. Have you ever had to change plans because of a bear? Have you ever had to change plans because of a bear? We're going to, how many said that they have? I'm going to go ahead and give you 10 seconds and your time starts now. Alex, you got to lock something in. Nope. Here, let's try that again. Oh. Alex, are you there? Uh-oh. Alex? You did not lock anything in. Yeah. I am here. Okay, you gotta- you have to do something, otherwise I have to disqualify you. I'm just- I just cannot see this board that I'm seeing here. You- all you're using is just the keys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, hang- hang on guys, we'll be right back.
So anime. what's in, yeah? So what's going to end up happening is that we had to advance Caleb to the money game because of connect connectivity issues. God, I cannot speak today. But it's okay. Caleb, hi, welcome. Caleb, are you there? Sorry, I was muted. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> right. Hello. Well, hello. You've seen, you've seen how this works, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. I haven't, I mean, I haven't watched Power 10 in like a while, but I know how the game works. Beautiful. Let's play for $1,000, shall we? All right. I'm going to use Q and, Q and A, Q to uh, raise the range, A to lower it, and then hit the enter key whenever you're ready to lock in. Let's see if we can get you $1,000, shall we? All right. We Let's surveyed go. nurses for this first question. Have you ever made a patient wait longer to see the doctor because they were rude to you? Oh. How many have? I mean, you can, go ahead and, you, have, you can go ahead and mess around with the range. You don't have to lock in anything yet. Um, audience, what do we think on this question? About 25, 65. 15 to I feel like uh, something else. What are, what are your thoughts on this one, Caleb? I'm curious. You don't have to lock anything yet. What I, is your... I think it's a bit low because, like, I work at a theme park and, like, okay, people complain about waiting long for a specific ride. Mm -hmm. And, like, I wouldn't say I wouldn't keep anyone longer because, like, that pisses, that will piss people off, because, like, <laughs> crazy story, um, one time this family accused me of putting them in the back of the line, and I didn't do that, because I, ugh, it was, like, crazy, but, like, yeah, they ended up threatening to call the police on me because of that. Oh, my God. And they God. were so mad at me, and then the family barely spoke English, so I was like, oh, God, this is that <laughs> So, like, you so you think it's going to be fairly less? This is Power of Ten Stories podcast. <laughs> it's gonna, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. But, like, luckily I didn't get in trouble for that. But, like, yeah, um, that was a crazy moment. So, yeah, if people wait longer, that's going to piss people off, especially when it comes to nurses. Mm -hmm. Like, you're dealing with somebody's health, your, their body right now. So, like, I think it's going to be pretty low. Um, so do you want to do you want to lock that in? thousand bucks yeah i think 10 to 50 percent i think that's a pretty reasonable hit your hit your enter key to lock it in all right let's do that very well 10 to 50 percent he thinks it's quite low thousand dollars let's see what happens oh oh come on come on oh thousand dollars okay. 15 Wow. That was close. That's the bird. That was so, so close. Right. Thousand bucks. You can walk away with it. Your range decreases by 10 points. We're down to 30, but you're going for $10,000. All right. We surveyed single men with an online dating profile for this question. And we know how, we know how crazy these questions can get. Is there a lie on your profile right now? How many said there is a lie on their profile? On their dating profile. Oh yeah, on their on their online dating profile, is there a lie on their profile right now? Go ahead and you can fiddle around with the range. Ooh. What do we think? Do you feel like this could be somewhere up there? Ooh, Turn it yeah. to six yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like most of the people... We've asked single men. Turn it to six day. I mean, I know this, you know, some profiles, they do like two truths and a lie. So Ooh. that could factor into this, you know, just as a conversation starter and mm -hmm. icebreaker. But I mean, if they're lying up sh straight up, then shoot, that's... Well, do you think, do you think that, because what, what, what we're asking, yes. what we're asking is that, is there a lie on their profile right now? That's what we're specifically oh, right asking. Now. Oh, yeah, right now, matter. is there a lie? Is there is there something that they put on their profile that's an absolute lie? So and it's it still there. What they're lying about, basically. 
pretty much. They're lying about their relationship status. Ooh. Because they have the Ooh, because yes. they have the uh, profile there. Mm. You are not wrong. We're at fifty Thank to eighty. Sixty to ninety percent. I mean, I mean from, the, from one side, uh, being uh, being single for a long time is something that is that uh, I don't think you should be uh, you would be uh, think you would be appreciated for being proud of. Um, from the other uh, on the other hand. Uh, I can't recall any question in the money round to have a correct answer of more than 90%. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of crazy people out there. People just wanna... People are just thinking about, you know, how... You know, they're trying to, like, get some clout. They're trying to, you know, not just lie like, what's the word, embellish. Or, like... You know, do something to make them look good so that way they can get all these dates and everything. You know. And then next you know when they show up when you have the actual date, they're not the one you know, they're not the mm -hmm. I'd say does a picture count as a lie? Because you know people who post all these pictures of them and the next you know yeah. when you see them, they're not how they are in the picture. So do you wanna so, lock it in? Do you wanna go ahead and lock that in? Ten thousand dollars? You could walk with a grand. Ooh, I feel like eighty-five Oh lord, I feel like there's a lot of liars out there, but you know, there are some people out there, the pure people, you know, mm -hmm. the clean ones who want to actually find the truthful, you be truthful and everything. And the clean ones? And we have question about the wearing underwear people. more than one day! And like, some okay. of the matches I got are, are some other truthful people, mm. so like, hmm, I'm guessing most of those men are who lie are straight men. Tricky question for ten thousand dollars. I'm gonna lock it in. All right, he's locking it in. Ten thousand dollars, right? We asked single men with an online dating profile, "Is there a lie on your profile right now?" We want to know what percentage said yes. Caleb is locked in fifty-five to eighty-five percent for ten thousand dollars. Let's roll it. Roll the magical bean. Oh. Oh. oh no, 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 oh. no, no. Twenty one percent. What? My that god. Is... Well gosh Did darn I... it. Did I say twenty fifty yeah. earlier? Gosh darn it. Caleb, I am so sorry. No, it's we're, okay. We're the gonna give you. Anyway. We're gonna How give you five hundred dollars. Lying about the lie. Yes, we are lying about the lie. <laughs> right. Well, that concludes this edition of the Power of Ten. Stay tuned as we take a quick break for lingo.